dad can beat up your dad. Jeremy I'm Adam. And I'm Jeremy. This is Dead Friends. Dead Well, hello and welcome to our post-fight show for the heavyweight, the bestest heavyweight matchup. What was the title? You were close. <laughs> uh, the big bestest <laughs> heavyweight episode. Oh, yeah. Starring your mom. Yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can't help it. All right. Um, Shredder versus uh, the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Yeah, and it, it, like I thought was going to happen, the, the fucking T-Rex tore, shredded the shredder. Oh, yeah. He's like, it doesn't taste like goats. No, I love the taste of human flesh. And then he oh, got yeah. really hungry, and he whooped his ass. Yeah. And then Laura and, Dern started picking and, us uh, through his shit. Yeah, she's like, there's a lot of metal in here. What are you even feeding that dinosaur? Yeah, his like, insides I, are I probably know, Laura. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's Dr. Grant? Oh, he turned into the space devil. He's space Satan. On the old spaceship. Uh, yeah. <laughs> space Satan. Spaten? Yo, Adam, can we start a band where like it's like death metal meets like crazy synth and like weird samples, like space, like not space, yeah, space samples and sci-fi samples, and can we please call the band Space Satan? That sounds perfect. Yeah, a tribute to Dr. Grant. Yep, tribute, yes, yeah, Space Satan. Or wh- what is his name? What is his name, the actor's name? Oh, uh, Sam, Sam Neill? Sam Neill, yeah, it'll be, um, dedicated to Sam Neill. Sam Neill presents Space Space Satan. Space Satan, there you go. (laughs) A death metal, uh, what? Death Uh, metal and space. Death metal with space and sci-fi samples along with crazy synth. Like crazy fucking a sci-fi shit. death I'm, metal d- opera. It wouldn't be an opera. It'd be a no. sci-fi death metal electronic. Mash-up? I don't know. Well, yes, I like it. There we go. All Space right. Satan. Space Satan coming soon to wherever you listen to your music. It's gonna happen. Future project. Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah, uh, my mind gears are already spinning. But uh, like I said earlier, I'm not very good at chess and don't plan ahead, so uh, I might have to tattoo it on my body like uh, oh, like memento. memento. Nice. And then I'll wake up like, what is space Satan? You know, Carrie will be like, what? Why do you have space Satan tattooed on your chest like backwards? In old I'm English. Like, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then why does that one say buy eggs? Like I don't, I don't know. Hey, um, speaking of random notes that you you don't recall, um, I don't know if you remember. I had that like I had like a little like notebook I would use back in the day. <laughs> I'd write stuff in it. Oh. And um, are you gonna bring up? The- yes, yes, I am. I don't know. And okay. one night, um, well, actually, recently, <laughs> recently, I I, op- I haven't seen it in a while. I picked it up. I'm like, holy shit! And I was looking through it, and there's this one note that uh, I recall. The only beginning of this discuss- discussion you and you and I had, but uh, it was kid, the wheelchair kid from Malcolm in the Middle, and it was scribble, 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 line, <laughs> ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so long story short, Adam and I were uh, extremely drunk and possibly super, yeah. super baked cakes, um, and yeah. we thought something was super funny, a funny skit where it was going to be the, the kid from Malcolm in the Middle the kid who had the breathing issues in the wheelchair, and something was going to happen to him. It was going to be hilarious, but in my note, I, I can't remember what it was. He probably blew up or something. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of want to see him get turned into RoboCop. Like, we can fix your, we can make you better, like the $6 million man. What, what was the kid's name? Uh, Marvin? Question yeah, Marvin. Mark. Question mark? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Marvin? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, do, but they're not going to make him like RoboCop, RoboCop. Make him RoboCop 2, RoboCop. Like, you know, remember the second RoboCop they make? The one, like, it was a drug dealer and it had the screen face and it, like, bounced around all, like, Max Headrum style? 
Uh, yeah. What was his name? He had a cool name. Like it was RoboCop too. I mean, the movie was called RoboCop too. That dude had a name. Like his actual his RoboCop name was Kane. Was Kane? it Kane? Kane. Yeah. Something like that. Let me look it up here. For first, I gotta look up the. Kane. Oh, it was called C- Citizen Kane, right? Oh, his name was Steve. Steve. <laughs> Steve. St- I thought it was St- Stevie, Steve, just Steve. Maybe it was. Maybe they call him Stevie, but it was Steve. Uh, now let's see here. Robo. Robocop's two's name was Steve. Robo Steve. Robo. Robo Steve. <laughs> Whoa, here's a fucking fun fact I didn't know. Uh, okay. Robocop: The Story was by Frank Miller. Really? Yeah. Get the fuck what? out. Yeah, it says it right here. Oh, it's shit. on the internet. It's got to be true. What? What? It's not on Wikipedia because uh, we put our family fun facts on there and someone takes them down the next day. <laughs> yeah, okay, see, OCP struggles to develop RoboCop 2, a police droid intended for mass production to replace striking the striking police force. Which lifted the brains of dead officer like the original world. However, they resurrected not a police officer, but the psychologist convinced chairman to use Kane. Like yeah. drug. The drug dealer, yeah. yeah, his name was Kane, but the actual... Robot was RoboCop 2. So we're going to take Stevie's brain and spine out and put him into a robot? RoboCop 2, yes. RoboCop 2, starring Steve from uh, Malcolm in the Middle. And then have uh, the main guy from Malcolm in the Middle as RoboCop. He'll he'll play the role as RoboCop. Uh, You're talking about the... The Malcolm? Yeah, 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 Mal- yeah, yeah. The- <laughs> oh, okay, Mal- fucking Malcolm. <laughs> While trying to think, of, what was that yeah. kid's name again? Oh, yeah, the fucking his name. The show was named after him. Yeah. <laughs> or Dewey? Can can Dewey be RoboCop? Yes. Oh, holy shit! That's yeah, much better. Yeah, Dewey. Dewey is RoboCop. Yeah, I'm down with that. And uh, the mom has to be, uh, you know, Lewis. Oh, of course. And then like, yeah, RoboCop has a mom. I mean, come on. Oh uh, yeah. That's genius writing right there. Is it is it just me or like were you sexually attracted to the mom from Malcolm in the Middle? Um, I was not actually. She was too much of a bitch. Okay, so it's just me. It was just Okay, you. just me. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you like you like ladies being mean to you? Yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's called the Sarah Connor syndrome. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making shit up. <laughs> Family fun facts. <laughs> Family fun facts, Sarah Connor syndrome. <laughs> uh but I am I am excited for uh for the next episode because I can't believe we actually are have almost knocked out two seasons, man. Yeah, look at us. We're just like little writers. Yeah, look at us creating stuff in the theater of our mind. Imagination, or however the imagination song goes, I forget. Mm, you talking about Willy Wonka, or are you talking about uh? Oh, uh, I was thinking. What's that uh, show me- with the puppets on Adult Swim? No, I was actually referring to um, the Imagination episode from South Park. Oh, yeah. Where like the song's like super weird and the guy's keys are all like way off. Simpsons did it. Sim- <laughs> 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 that is by far the best episode. But yeah, next week we have Akumate. It's going to be pretty awesome. Plus we have a bonus fight yep. because, uh, well, we only have seven fighters from season two and we needed a... Uh, Another dad. So we have a bonus fight and a little little hint to who these dads are gonna be. It's they're they're bad dads. Like so bad that they're good dads in their shows, but they're bad dads in real life. Yeah. And they're so bad that it's gonna be like walking on eggshells making fun of them because we could get canceled from it. We definitely could. They'd be like, Hey, I mean, hey guys, come on. Can't, you can't 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 you make fun of canceled people? <laughs> Dead people, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, they're not dead. No, but you said cancel people. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, I, I guess people that other people don't like. You think we can like ride that wave and get away with it? I don't know. Just as long as we don't use like, uh, we're gonna piss uh, someone off. Yeah, someone's gonna get upset, and you know, probably a Karen or a male Karen. What's a male Karen called? A Doug. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know a Doug, and he's he's a cool dude. He's not much of a complainer at all. Oh, I also know a Doug. Um, but he's got a cool dog named Porkchop. Ah, oh, that's cool. See, he's a superhero. What about Lance? I Quail think Man. I think Lance would be Karen. 
Yeah, Lance and Karen don't come at us because uh, I don't know. Just, just don't you. do it. Just, just there give it a listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll start, I'll start off right now, Adam. Get a life. Get a life. Yeah. We're just two nerds Get talking about Facebook. shit. Get off Facebook. Go home and take yeah. a bath. Damn it. Yeah. Go fly a kite. Yeah. Yeah. Read a book. Yeah, read a book. A, f- a good book. Yeah. Preferably nonfiction, because you're making up shit. Yeah. Like Dune. Yeah, have a good time with that one. <laughs> hey, it's my favorite book. Don't you talk shit about Dune? No, I'm not talking shit about Dune. This is a really big oh, okay. book. That book intimidates me when I look at it. Kind of like that. And I, I did crush it, but when I looked at Dune, I was like, oh, man, that's that's well, that's some dedication it, there. It reads really like quickly. Yeah? Well, maybe I'll have to... I mean, I really like the movie. The movie is fucking awesome, so... I'm pretty no, I'm sure talking I'll about the book. Stephen King's It. Like it reads quickly because it's just the way oh. that Stephen King writes. Like this, you can yeah, get through it quick. Yeah, I read that shit when I was like, like twelve, I think. When I read yeah, that. It gets kind of crazy in the sewers, but uh, yeah, yeah that's what happens <laughs> underground. Um, um, people made a big deal that they didn't put that part in the movie or in the TV show, and I was like, well, it kind of makes. Yo, good it's reason fucked up is do. what it is. Like, there's just a bunch of kids fucking. You can't put yeah. that on TV or in movies. Nope. <laughs> and meanwhile, I was like, wait, I, I think I was. I think I was in sixth grade. So, yeah, I was 12. And I was reading that part. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Because I was, I was an avid Stephen King reader, I think, from, like, fifth grade and on. And that was, like, the first book that, like, I was like, damn. Damn, Stephen King. All right, buddy. It's like that, huh? <laughs> Just like that. And I want to say, like, that wasn't in his, like, cocaine binge writing sessions. I think that was just, like, Christine and uh, Cujo. Cujo was one, yeah. There was, like, yeah, there was, like, three that he just, like, I'm going to do a bunch of coke and write books really fast. Yeah, I think I, I, the other one could have been Running Man, if I remember. Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. Can't remember at all. Stephen King books. Yeah. Karen and Lance, go read some Stephen King. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, fuck you. You jerk. Yeah. Hey, dude, I kind of had a, a Karen uh, situation. Um, it's funny that that's what they're called now, but I had like that kind of situation at the grocery store. I forgot to tell you about it oh. when, I, uh, when I saw you last. So I was in line at the grocery store wearing my mask like a proper fucking human, and this fucking ding dong was like behind me. And like she had her her shopping cart because we're you know we're in the line get ready to buy our food and shit. But uh, she is right behind me and but like her cart is. But then all of a sudden she's like directly behind me, like herself is right behind me. And I'm like, what the hell? So I kind of move forward, like in front of my cart. And then she's still like kind of edging towards me. And she's kind of like by my cart. So I just kept pushing my cart against her. And she looked at me. I was like, what? <laughs> Back up. And then she's like, because <laughs> the whole time she was on the phone talking. She goes, oh, I'm dealing with this asshole right now. I was like. Oh, fuck you, lady. You're fucking all of my shit. Oh, she's talking about, talking about you? Yeah. Aw. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck, lady? So I just, I kind of just went, whatever, and just put my shit out and on the grocery fucking conveyor belt and went on with my life. Because I didn't want to say anything. Because if you say anything, then people make a big deal. Then you got fucking your phone, people like filming you and shit. And then it's, yeah. oh, this world's crazy Then you're crazy on TikTok now. pouring milk over some lady's head and now you're the bad guy. Yeah, I'm the bad guy. Yeah, exactly. Wasting milk. I mean, come on. Yeah. You don't cry over spilled milk unless it's breast milk. It's the only time you cry about it. Mm. Do you cry over that? Um, my wife, when she was first breastfeeding, she was like saving the milk, and that's like mm. that shit was golden back in the day, or back you know at the time. So anytime we spilled it, we were mad. Oh, okay. Well. Let's talk about this kumite we got. So. Oh, yeah. Let's only talk about that instead of <laughs> breast milk and bitches at the yeah. grocery store. Yeah. Um, the kumite. So we have a bonus fight um, and to fill up our bracket because we have seven guys with a mystery fighter. And let's just go through it. Here we got the bracket in front of me. And I'll put an image of this bracket in if I remember to uh, for, for you kind folks that will actually listen to us on YouTube. Thank you. Well, at the top left corner, we have Ricky Ricardo versus Alan Matthews, which we've dubbed this little match. Uh, I love boys. <laughs> you hesitated. 
I know. I, was it a question? <laughs> Do you love boys? You know what? You should put it like that. Put it with a question mark. I love boys? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you started off with that one. That's good. That's okay, a good, good starter and for this fight. On the uh, bottom left, we have Earl Sinclair versus Herman Munster, which we're calling... Uh, Monsters versus dinosaurs, because you know that that title just speaks to my inner five-year-old. Top right corner of this awesome bracket, we have the Mandalorian versus Pa Ingles. And uh, what do we call in this fight? Oh, and this one's called Slaughterhouse on the Prairie. Go listen to that album because it's fantastic. Just it is damn pump good. up LeBron and just 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 get it, get to it. Get to it. It's a good album. Beginning to end. It's like fluid. Oh, yeah. It's it's fantastic. You got that Iceman tribute. Yep, Fuck that yeah. one's good. Yep. Good album. Yeah. And then the the bottom right, we have Red Foreman versus our mystery man, which is the uh, the untitled insert. fight, which we're calling. Insert, insert fight. fight name. <laughs> insert fight name. Yep. It's going to be a good fight. Uh the way we do uh, the kumites, or the way we did the last one is, um, each fighter gets uh, one roll for the uh, one roll high roll wins, and then the semifinals same way one roll high roll high blah 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 blah, one roll high roll wins in the uh, semifinals, and then the finals it's a traditional dad fight, twenty three hit points, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. And the mystery fight, we're going to do like a regular dad fight, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay, we'll cool. have a, a standard dad fight to kick it off, plus a tag team fight, because we have uh, two tag teams coming in this Kumite, which is like a, I don't know, like a warm-up fight for the actual Kumite. Be a Stranger Things versus... Oh, Different Strokes. There's Different Strokes, yeah. The, the Drummond. The Drummond main. Oh, yeah, Team Drummond versus... Team Hapa. <laughs> Get in the chapa, uh, Hapa. Yeah. What's the title for that fight going to be? Um, I was just going to go easy and say get in the chapa, Hapa, but no. Let's call that one Stranger Strokes. I, that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. I just <laughs> wanted to hear it come out of your mouth. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> So that's when you sit on your hand for a long time, for like 10, 15 minutes, and then you're like, yep. you know. You know, Jay, you're, uh, you're, uh, you're P? Like Jurassic Park. We just call it Jurassic Park in it in my house. <laughs> <laughs> you're taking a five-minute shower, do you Jurassic Park in it in there? It's like, no. <laughs> you thinking about Lord Dern? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why am I such a bully to myself? I don't know. <laughs> Did you watch anything fun um, this past week besides The Mandalorian, which was oh, awesome? Um, I did. I did recommend uh, what I would recommend while I was watching. Um, I recommended it to you, and I have to look it up because it was like a crazy fucking name. Hang on, hang on, hang on, everyone. Auntie Donna's Big Old House of Fun. Did you check that out yet? No. It's I don't know. Auntie Donna's Big House of Fun. Yeah, big o- on Netflix. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Big Old House of Fun. I think it's short. I think it's like six episodes, but it's like skit comedy. But they're all like. And is it? Is it what you said? It was Tim and Eric, or no, it's like it's Tim like and Eric. Tim and Eric. But I think these guys are either oh, okay. they're they're Australian or they're English. I can't tell which one because they all they, some of them have Australian accent, some of them have English accent. But it's it's fucking batshit crazy. It's like right up your alley, man. You'll you'll definitely appreciate it. Nice. Oh yeah. And uh, do they say cunt? Yes, and wanka. So okay, good. That's my favorite word when an Englishman or an Australian guy says it. When an American says it, I go, "You can't say that on TV." Yeah, Mister. Get out of here, you wanker cunt. <laughs> you cunt wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Hogan just Jurassic Park in it. <laughs> I don't know where my my mind went there, but uh, you call that a knife? So do you? Do you remember in like the late '80s when like America was obsessed with like Australian stuff? I think it's when Outback Steakhouse came around and Paul Hogan was Jurassic Parking it on uh, Crocodile Dundee. Croc Dundee. 
And then there's that. Which also sounds like a euphemism for uh, jerking it. <laughs> Croc Dundee. Croc Dundee. I just Croc Dundee all over my curtains. Yeah. There was koalas everywhere, and there was uh, like two Australian shows on Nickelodeon, like back to back. And there was also um, the song Minute Work, the the Minute Work song. Oh, land yeah, Down holy Under. Holy shit, I love that song. Yeah. Come to land down under. And then Paul Hogan was on like Subaru, Subaru Forester, Australian for car. Oh, yeah, then there's the Fosters. Yeah, there's that too. Oh, yeah. And then even the Rescuers, they went down under. Holy shit, I forgot about that. And now that we're, yep. now we're getting to it. I remember Quigley went down under, who was Tom Big Bus- right. Mustache Selick. All right, man, you got anything that you can... Uh, did you learn something from this lovely uh, adventure? Yep, I learned that uh, if you're Jurassic Park in it or Croc Dundee in, just, uh, I don't know. Think about Laura Dern. <laughs> But don't take my word for it. Dead fights. Dead fights. <laughs> <laughs>